Welcome to Rudy's RV Care and Maintenance video series. Today's helpful RV roofing care ideas are presented by Rudy's good friend, Mark Polk, from RV Education 101. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today I want to talk about protecting your RV roof with a coating that is specially designed for the type of roof material your RV has. Coating your RV roof is one of the best investments you can make in extending and refreshing the look of your RV roof. Your RV roof is constantly exposed to harsh elements including sun, rain, hail, snow, and wind blowing debris along with being subjected to a wide range of temperature and humidity conditions. Whatever conditions your RV roof is exposed to, the right coating system will help give your roof a brighter, cleaner look over a longer period of time and enhance the value of your RV. Today's video will concentrate on fiberglass RV roof coatings. Let's get started right now. Dicor fiberglass RV roof coating protects and beautifies fiberglass and previously coated RV roofs. Fiberglass RV roof coating is formulated with 100% acrylic fiberglass resins to form a flexible coating that will expand and contract with the roof's movement. Dicor fiberglass RV roof coating is brilliant white to provide a superior reflectivity, thereby lowering interior temperatures. Caution: Be extremely careful when working on the RV roof. A fall can cause serious injury or death. The first step is to remove any heavy deposits of dirt, leaves, pine needles, and other debris using a broom or air blower. Next, scrub the roof using detergent and water to remove all loose dirt, oil, rust, chalk, mildew, loose coatings, or other contaminants which would prevent maximum adhesion to the fresh coating. It is recommended to cover the exterior sidewalls as well as the front and rear end caps of the RV with plastic sheeting prior to using any roof cleaners and coatings. If the roof cleaner or coating comes in contact with any surface other than the roof, wash it off immediately. Clean the fiberglass roof using Dicor's Fiberglass Clean and Prep product. It can be applied using an agricultural sprayer. Safety glasses with side shields and latex gloves are recommended. Adjust the spray for weather conditions if necessary and adjust the spray nozzle to achieve a uniform spray pattern. Caution, the roof will be extremely slippery. Spray a fine mist that leaves the roof damp. Start at one end of the roof and work in small 4x4 four four foot sections. Scrub the roof thoroughly working backwards to the opposite end of the roof. Rinse the roof thoroughly. Periodically twist your toe on the roof following rinsing to ensure that all slippery residue has been removed. Allow sufficient time for the roof to dry. Prepare the surface for the roof coating by using a fine to medium grit sandpaper. You want a slightly abraded surface the roof coating can adhere to. After sanding the roof, re-wash with Dicor Fiberglass Clean and Prep, rinse and let dry. Cover all fasteners and seal around all roof protrusions and vent mountings with Dicor Lap Sealant. Any sealant touch-up should be done at least two weeks prior to the roof coating job. Cover all joints and roof seams with Dicor Coating Ready Cover Tape. Fiberglass RV roof coating is for use on the roof surface only. Apply unthinned at the rate of 350 square feet per gallon per coat. Thoroughly mix the contents for a minimum of five minutes prior to application. For maximum performance, two coats are required. I prefer to go around all the edges and fixtures on the roof using a brush followed by a medium nap roller with a long handle. Apply each coat at right angles to each other by brush or roller. Mm -hmm. 
The first coat must be dry before the second coat is applied. Under normal conditions of 70 degree Fahrenheit and 50% relative humidity, the second coat may be applied within one to two hours at the same rate as the first coat. After applying the second coat, you should allow for a minimum of three hours of direct sunlight prior to nightfall. It takes 24 to 48 hours for the coating to completely dry and cure. Make sure no rain or heavy dew is allowed to come in contact with your newly coated roof during this time period. Clean brushes, tools, and other equipment with soapy water immediately after use. Dried film is difficult to remove from any surface. If coating is subjected to rain before it has properly dried and wash off occurs, it is necessary to immediately wash stained surfaces with soapy water to prevent staining. Whether you want to restore your fiberglass RV roof to make it look like new again, or if you simply want to maintain and extend the life of your RV roof surface, coating your RV roof is an investment that pays off well into the future. Take a minute to visit www.dicor.com to find a roof coating system designed specifically for your type of RV roof. Happy camping! We hope you found this video helpful. Please visit our website for more of Rudy's helpful roofing resources.